Hello, boys and girls. I am so glad you have joined us at the Gulletsville Church of Christ Vacation Bible School. I know you're learning a lot this week, and I'm so glad you're here. I'm Miss Robin, and I'm going to be teaching a lesson on day four. But I love to review. I think reviewing is such an important thing. So let's go ahead, just in case some of you weren't here for the first three days of creation. And we can review those and we'll be ready for day four of creation. So I'm gonna share my screen, give me just a second. And I'm back with you with some pictures. So we learn about the days of creation in the book of Genesis. Genesis, the word Genesis means beginnings. And that's where everything all began. And we can learn about all kinds of things in the book of Genesis. But in Genesis chapter one and two, and a little bit in chapter three, we can learn about the first um, beginnings of our world as we know it. So in Genesis one and one, it, it tells us that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was shapeless and empty, and the Spirit of God hovered over the waters. Can you imagine that? God said, let there be light. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. All this happened on the very first day of creation. And on the second day, it was amazing as well. On the second day, God created the sky and the clouds, and he separated them from the waters below, and he created clouds up in the sky. You might can see some clouds right behind me because I painted my ceiling with some clouds. God saw that his work was good. And on day three, God ordered, he commanded that the dry land start to appear from the waters. And so up it rose and the waters were gathered together into seas and oceans and rivers. And the dry land was the land that we would soon live on, but he hasn't created humans yet. On day three, God created the land to appear. And then God said, let the earth burst with every form of grass and seed bearing plant, seed bearing plant and fruit trees that have seeds in them. You have made, you may have eaten an apple and cut it open before and found a little seed inside. You might've had a lemon seed. You might've seen a lemon seed before. The world is, such a wonderful place that God created because he wanted all the seeds to create things exactly like they were. He wanted lemons to create lemons and apple seeds. You could plant those and you can get an apple tree. And God likes order. And so he made it just like that. And so the fruit trees and the seeds inside. Everything God said took place and all kinds of grasses and plants and trees grew with their own seeds so they could grow more. And God saw the plants growing. Everything was beautiful. Everything was good. And he was pleased. On day four, God set some lights in the sky. I'm going to read directly from our, from our Bibles. In Genesis 1, 14 through 19, we read about this. Then God said, let there be lights in the sky to separate day from night. You might be thinking, oh, I know there's a bright light in the sky during the day. And I've seen that lesser bright light in the nighttime. I bet you have. These lights will be used not only to give light, in the day and in the night, but they will be used for signs of the seasons. You know, this in the summertime, the days are longer and there's more sunlight. 
In the winter time, it, the days are a little bit shorter and it's cooler. And so the sun is not up there in the sky shining as long as it normally does in the summertime. So these are signs of seasons and days and years. They will be in the sky to give light to the earth. And it happened just like God said. So God made these two large lights. He made the brighter light to rule the day. He made the smaller light to rule the night. And the Bible says he also made those twinkling stars that we see in the nighttime sky. God put all these in the sky to shine on the earth. They are to rule over the day and over the night. And he put them there to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that all of these things were good and evening passed and morning came. And that was day four. So we see these, these beautiful lights in the sky. That would be the sun and over here would be the moon and the, and the twinkling stars, beautiful sky at night. Okay, what I would like to do is I would love to sing the creation song up to just day four. So let's start with day one. Day one, day one, God made light when there was none. Day one, day one, God made light when there was none. Okay, we're ready for day two. Sing with me. Day two, day two, God made clouds and skies of blue. Day two, day two, God made clouds and skies of blue. Day three, day three, God made flowers, grass, and trees. Day three, day three, God made flowers, grass, and trees. Day four, day four, sun and moon and stars galore. Day four, day four, sun and moon and stars galore. We're going to stop right there because you're going to learn more about creation the next day that we have Vacation Bible School. I would like to end with another song and then my lesson will be done. I like to think about God in the greatness of his creation. And this is one of my favorite songs. It goes like this. And if you know it, please sing along. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the valleys are his, the trees are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. I hope you love God the way I do. I will see you later. Have a great day, and I hope you have some fun crafts to do. Bye!